The stakes in Ukraine are rising fast after Russian missiles rained down on several Ukrainian cities. Retaliation for the bombing that seriously damaged an important bridge between Russia and annexed Crimea. For the first time really since this war began, the subways underneath Kyiv are now sheltering points for people hoping to avoid future rocket attacks. Suffering defeats on the battlefield, Russia takes it out on the peaceful residents of Ukrainian cities. Ukraine continues to push back Russian forces in the east as Moscow tries to mobilize more troops to hold the territory they have seized. The bombing of the bridge could slow the logistics of resupplying Russian troops who are on the defensive. Russia believes that Ukrainian special forces were behind an explosion on his prized bridge to Crimea. And after weeks of military setbacks, Russia has installed a new commander known for his brutality in Syria to lead operations in Ukraine. Ukrainians are doing so well on the battlefield, they might actually recapture territory mm. that they lost eight or nine years ago. As fighting continues, energy concerns are only growing in Europe as winter approaches, and a recent pipeline leak only cements these worries. Sweden has expressed suspicions that the Nord Stream pipeline leaks were caused by sabotage. And Germany has launched an investigation into what caused the possible blasts. Threats of nuclear war by Russia's President Vladimir Putin have been met by criticism from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who has advocated for more support from the West to end the Russian threat. We have not seen any reason to adjust our own strategic nuclear posture, nor do we have indication that Russia is preparing to imminently use uh, nuclear weapons.